we just uh, filmed a bit for Jen on her channel, doing some more reviews and uh, oh my goodness, I'm totally out of focus. <laughs> it's one of those things that takes ages to do because it might just be a 10 minute video but it's half an hour of editing at the very least and that takes a huge amount of time. So it gets annoying but uh, I've, I'll put a quick clip in here of what we just done. I'm going to say action in a second, but what I need you to do is not move everything around like that. So, like, look at the shiny shiny and make everyone dizzy. Oh, you mean like this? Look at that. Oh, look at the detail. You can really see the detail, really. Choo -choo. As you can see, it's a bit annoying when I'm trying to focus on things and she keeps moving them because she's so excited about what she's talking about. She loves this stuff. Same way that I love games, she loves trends. And it comes through in her videos, which is great. But it makes it hell to film them because she's always, oh, look at this, look at this, blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Oh, what can you say? Enthusiasm. That's what you want. On the weather channels that I use, it says it's not going to rain today. Well, I am soaked with rain that apparently doesn't exist. Do they not have a window so they can just look out of? <laughs> Let's go inside the wall. I'm just looking at your computer here, it's a mass of wires and things botched. It looks like the engine room of the Starship Enterprise. I cannot do it, Captain! I do not have the power! So how this, old is all this stuff? This is what happens when the A-Team and MacGyver put your computer together. Basically, I, I don't compromise when I want something in my computer hardware-wise. I'm a hardware person. Software's all like white noise to me, but hardware... So, this little baby here has 11 physical hard drives in there, hanging off three different RAID controllers. And that's pretty much most of the mess. Oh messages. my goodness. Yeah, it also has PCM CIA removable card compatibility. It has, um, it actually has four different network cards, plus wireless networking. Uh, what else? Oh, and this little puppy on the top is a Sound Blaster X5 Platinum. That's the best sound card I've ever seen. And you don't even use it, apart from to wire it up to your record player. I use the preamp. It's warm in here. It's a little bit too warm, that's probably why we're getting a bit tense. Tense trying to repair a computer that doesn't want to be repaired, basically. So we've been trying to get uh, Jan's computer repaired by installing Windows. It just messes up every time, so now it's Linux's turn. Bring in the penguin. Alright, uh, Ubuntu didn't work. Let's go to the one that I personally like, Debian. Let's hope for the best. How many hours have, been, have we been doing this, Jen? Started about 8 o'clock trying to fix problems with this computer, which we suspect were caused by the newest version of Avast, which despite it saying, oh no, 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 we don't slow down your computer, um, caused the entire computer to chug like it was a 386, trying to run Windows XP. And then immediately it started trying to uh, sell the upgraded version of Avast, where it would say, we can speed up your computer. And it's like, no, no, you can't. You can basically undo what you've done to the hard drive and then try and charge £30 a month for the privilege. We tried to fix the install. Uh, Windows XP... Uh, the disk we've got has decided to just mess up at every level. We're just getting blue screens to death. So we thought, well, we'll try something else like Linux. The problem that we had there, of course, is that the Ubuntu install disk isn't bootable. I don't know whether it's just a fault or whether they've actually screwed that up, but it wasn't bootable. So I got my old copy of Debian, which I know works because I've installed computers off this version before. <coughs> and it's a really good version. It's got to the point now where it's saying, wait, we need to partition your hard drive, but the hard drive appears to have been messed up by the corrupted Windows installation. So the, the part that was the primary part is now a logical part, and the logical part was the primary part. So we can't do anything without looking at what's on which part of the hard drive to make sure that we're going to deal with the right bit. This is a complete mess. Mm. We don't know how Windows has managed to do it. It appears to be that in trying to reinstall Windows XP, it's gone, oh, well, you need to format this drive. But in formatting it, 
it's lost the fact that it's the primary partition and is instead then decided because this physical hard disk was partitioned into two drives, the C drive and the D drive. And in trashing that C drive, it's then promoted the D drive to being the primary partition. Yeah. But it's got data on. All the other hard drives have a hell of a lot of data on, because this is, this is the server. Um, and it now means that when we come to install Debian, um, it's wanting to go onto the primary partition, but it wants to format that to install to it. But of course, we can't let it do that. So it's a mess. We spent five hours trying to, trying to repair damage that should never have happened to this computer. Yeah, thank and you, he, Microsoft, and, and, he, and here's the other thing: we have a copy of the drive on another drive that we now can't get. To. All we need to do, and all we should have been needed to do, is get a get to that backup copy that flash of it and reinstall from that. But we can't do that either. Yeah, because whoever wrote the Windows XP install program has written it specifically to only install from the specific CD that you've put in the drive. There's no option to install from the hard drive. So effectively, the backup of that disk that was made uh, when it was new um, is inaccessible. You can't force the, the software to install from it. It insists on installing off uh, an old CD copy, it might even be a DVD copy, that's years old and um, some of the files on it have gone corrupt. So this is episode 100 of the vlog where <laughs> It should have been a celebration in the fact that we got to 100 episodes, but what I've actually done is wasted five hours of my life. Yeah. I'm not happy. Let's put yeah. that way. I'm severely not happy. Maybe we'll have a proper vlog another day, but it won't be today, because right now it's quarter to one in the morning, and that's it. I've got to now get ready for conference, so I don't have time for this.